You know when you floss so hard it feels like your teeth have a heartbeat? Like I feel like my teeth have an erection. That's good to say within the first five seconds of a YouTube video. Hi everybody. It's been a while and I'm, I am so happy to be here. I am so happy to be here in my bed with my microphone that is slowly losing a lot of rhinestones. I don't know if you notice anything different, but I have a new camera. And that's really exciting. I needed this camera back in January when I started making, I don't know, a feature length film and decided to shoot that on a camera that was not made to make a feature length film with. But I, 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 I have a new camera now and that's really exciting. But I'm looking at this in the viewfinder and it doesn't feel as casual. This feels really professional, which is cool. But usually when I hang out, I like it to feel really casual. So please be patient with me as I figure out how to make this feel less like I'm about to perform a monologue. It's been a long time. I think this is the longest I've gone without posting a YouTube video <clears throat> since my freshman year of college, which I think is really ironic because I have exciting news. You guys, I finished school. I'm all done. Can you believe it? I think it's interesting to think about all the different videos I've made on my channel about school. And I never thought we'd make it to the finish line. But we have. I feel very adult, which is a weird feeling. But I just think this is so cool that I've had this YouTube channel since I was in middle school. And now, like, I'm... And now I'm done. I have my Bachelor of Science in Art, Media, and Technology from Oregon State University. I haven't received a piece of paper in the mail, but hopefully it's coming. This is weird. I'm living, I'm, I'm currently living a very, I, I'm, I'm living through a very beautiful and very reflective time in my life. And I just want to be able to take a snapshot of this time in my life and, 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 and put a timestamp in it so I can come back to it. So if you're not like a loyal subscriber and you don't really know what's happening or you're not me, from the future a lot of other youtubers to watch <laughs> this is for me at this point i have committed to the bit that is my youtube channel for so long this is just for me so either get with it or get out of the fucking way <laughs> i am living a, a, a life currently there's a lot to process and everything that i'm processing is just so cool i'm able to acknowledge that there's going to come a time in the in the near future where Things aren't going to feel very cool and things, life might not feel that beautiful and that's okay because life has to feel not beautiful so it can feel extra beautiful in the future. Lived a lot of life in school that didn't feel very beautiful and now I'm able to live, which is why I'm able to live this time now that feels beautiful. And isn't that beautiful? I just think it's really cool to watch myself become a, a, a truer version of myself. And, and every time it feels like I'm becoming a little bit truer version of myself, I feel like I, I did it and like, there I am. But then I keep, there's an infinite void of, of truth to me. And I, you keep, and I keep discovering these truths and it's so cool to go out in the world and, and feel like, like you're true, like you're living. None of this is making sense. But that's okay. In the last couple years, I've made a commitment to myself to just continue being and continue pushing myself to be the boldest version of myself I can be. And sometimes I just have to sit back and, and, and look at that and look at the things that I've done and the person that I, I have become and am becoming. And I'm just like, this is so cool. This is so cool to become a different person. How cool, that used to scare me so much. The idea of growing up and becoming a different person than I was when I was a kid or in high school or in the beginning of college. Recently, I've given up on trying to find my final form because that doesn't exist. Instead of thinking about like, oh no, who am I gonna be in the future? Thinking of like, I can't wait to meet the person I am in the future. I cannot wait to meet the completely different version of myself that I am in the future. You know why? Because that means that I have lived through experiences that were so life-changing and so big and monumentous that I turned into a different person. Like that means if I am not a different person, then that means that I'm living a boring life. But if I can, if I can go out and experience things so big and so cool and so grand 
that I become a different person, that's pretty sick. And so I'm just trying to embrace like loving everything that I love right now because those future versions of me might might not love what I love now because I'll love different things. So just take it all, take everything that I love right now and just, I'm trying to just love it. Trying to love my silly posters and love having my pink hair and absolutely love the music that I love no matter how cringe it is. Love my silly outfits and try to love living at home because there's not going to come a time that I love it more than I love it right now because in the future I'm going to love different things and I'm going to love those a lot too. None of this is making sense. I just, I've been obviously very sentimental and very emotional and very reflective recently. <sighs> but I'm done with school. And the question is, Jasmine, so what do you do now? I don't know. I'm going to move to LA and do anal porn. What do you want me to say? I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. As of right now, I work at a coffee shop and I live at home with my parents and I have pink hair and I do stand up. That's, that's what I'm doing and that's what I'm going to continue to do until I have a different plan. Okay? I have people coming up to me just about every 30 seconds asking me, what are you doing now that you're done graduating? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What's the next project? What's the next What's the next big thing that Jasmine's going to do? Are you going to move to New York? Are you going to be an And all of those comments come from, a, come from a, very, a very positive, very encouraging, very wonderful, loving place of people who want to see me thrive, just like how I want to see them thrive. But I think something we forget is that in order to do the next big thing, you have to dream you have to you have to dream and you have to come up with the next big thing. So I can't do the next big thing until I've until I've dreamed it. And I need time to dream it and I need because it's in there. I've got the idea somewhere. I know what I want to do, but I just she hasn't hit the frontal cortex yet. You know what I mean? And I need time to to be and 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 live simply in order to know what the next step is. You can't take the next step if there's no staircase. So if people are pushing you to take the next, do a next big thing in your life that you don't know what is, you're just stepping off into a cliff. Baby, you need a bridge. You gotta build the bridge first before you can cross it. You gotta build the staircase before you can take the next step up. And right now, I can see I'm standing at point A and I'd like to get to point B, but I'm not quite sure what the staircase looks like. So I'm not gonna try to jump to point B. I'm gonna take my time and gather my supplies and go to Home Depot and read some and read some Reddit posts and figure out how to build a damn staircase and take my time and build a very sturdy, very stable staircase to help me get to point B. Otherwise, I'm going to just jump off of a cliff and fall right to the bottom. People are expecting me to just get to point B by jumping and I think people are forgetting that you need a bridge and stairs and steps and sometimes that takes time. This metaphor isn't going to make sense to anybody but me in the future is going to know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you get it, stick around. Although something that's scaring me, it's, it's, it's intimidating. I don't know if scary is the right word. No, I guess I'm scared, but it's normal to be scared is we go through these, we go through these roller coasters, right? With twists and, and, and turns. And then the roller coaster pulls back into the station and then you go again. And I feel like I've, I've hit a stage where the roller coaster has just pulled into the station. I've just finished school. I've just finished a lot of things that took me on a lot of different turns. I've pulled into the station but you know what that means? It's going to go again. And all those twists and turns and drops are good. And it means growth. But it's it's scary to anticipate. And so I've, I've, I've finished school and now I'm about to go on the roller coaster that is the next, you know, few months of my life of, of, of change and of change and growth and unknowns and, and what am I doing and do I I'm applying for jobs and meeting new people and going new places and it's intimidating. It's intimidating to know I'm at like I'm at square one and there's a lot of squares ahead of me. But I'm trying to remember that it's that it's 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 cool. It's cool that I'm at square one and maybe I'll come out on the other side with, you know, jet black hair. Sick. Can't wait. Uh, my hairdresser will not be happy, but I can't wait. My room's a mess. Life's a little bit of a mess and that's okay. We've talked about that. That's okay. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I really don't. 
How many times do you think we brush we I how many how many more times do you think I have to brush my teeth until I die? I've been asking a lot of people this question a lot over the last month. I've yet to receive an answer. I've been thinking about this so much. I've been texting people, I've been asking people. I have it written on my wall. I've been really thinking about this. How many more times do I have to brush my teeth until I die? And there's no answer for that. Cuz I could die tomorrow. I really want to lie down. Is this too close and personal? Yes. The answer is yes. Uh, been so kind to me and I thank you for that. So something that's been happening to me recently is I've just constantly felt the urge to cry. Because there's just, there's so many things I'm currently processing. There's so many things happening in my life that, I, uh, that I'm processing. And when I need to process a lot of things, my brain gets a headache. And the type of headache that can only go away when I cry. Long story short, like one plus one is not equaling two in my brain to the, to the point where it's like crying is the solution. So I've been having to make myself cry. And I've been doing that by listening to the Punisher album uh, by Phoebe Bridgers on repeat. And I just want to send a big apology to all the she days and gays um, who have been on the Phoebe Bridgers train for quite some time. And listen, I've seen the train go by. I've seen it go by and I've seen it go by and I've gone, I'll be on the train one day. I can't get on the train right now. I'm a bit busy. I'm a bit busy. I have to go make some lunch. But one day I know I'm going to be on the train. And listen, it's been, it's, I'm a couple of years too late. But for me, I'm right on time. For you guys, I'm too late. I'm too late to the train. But I am so okay with being on the caboose. I'm last in line, and so I'm going to be in the caboose, but you know what? I'm okay with that, because I'm just happy to be on the train, period. Whether or not I'm on the caboose or not, whether or not anybody's in the caboose with me, that's okay. I knew that one day I was going to be obsessed with Phoebe Bridgers. People became obsessed with Phoebe Bridgers during a time where I was just like, I don't think I've experienced a lot of those emotions before, so when I do... This is going to go great. And so it's going great. No, I just, I think I've, I've, I have a deeper appreciation for, for lyrics now. I lived a lot of my life with no appreciation for lyrics and only an appreciation for whether or not something was choreographable <laughs> for a large high energy jazz number. And I don't know if you've ever listened to Phoebe Bridgers, but it's not giving high energy jazz number. But then I developed something called chronic depression. Um, and now I get it. And now I get it. So I've been listening to Punisher on repeat. I think we've talked about this before, but I think there's something... There's something about crying that people just don't get. There's something so cool and so awesome and fun about crying that most people just don't get. I'm like, you guys just don't get how fun this is. You don't get how cool this is to literally see and, and feel what's in your brain. Literally exit your body. To feel something so hard and so strong, it's got to come out. Of your eyes. That's fucking sick. How did we get to talking about this? Are you keeping track of the conversation? I'm not keeping track of the conversation. I think just too many big life things have happened to me over the course of like three months. It's not gonna end. I'm really sleepy. I don't know if this video should have been made, but we made it anyways. Because I needed to get thoughts out of my brain, like metaphors about a staircase instead of jumping off a cliff. And the other day, I compared the Bible to the hit TLC show Cake Boss. I also compared life to a freeway, an interstate. You know what one might call that? Life is a highway. Things make more sense when I explain them in ways that don't make sense to other people. Because then they make extra sense to me and extra not sense to other people. And isn't that so fun? I'm gonna go to bed. But to whoever's watching this, PBS is made possible by viewers like you. Thank you. Okay, it's bedtime. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Okay, okay, bye.